The number one cause of death in America today happens to be cardiovascular disease. You may or may not realize that your heart is one of the most sensitive muscles in your body. There's something called the neurolingual route. You know, you have individuals that might put some nitroglycerin in their mouth when they notice that they may have chest pain. Well, we have a tool called the acoustic cardiogram, which measures heart sounds. We have an electronic stethoscope that we place in four areas on your chest. This electronic stethoscope picks up the vibrations of your valves closing in your heart. Muscles cause the valves to close. The heart is a very sensitive muscle that needs adequate nutrients, be vitamins, calcium, magnesium, vitamin E. What we're viewing right now is a result of an acoustic cardiogram on one of our patients. And this is what the normal would look like, a tight graph that this is heart sound number one, a little bit of a rest, heart sound number two, and then the next sound. The physiology of the heart depends on nutrition. This particular person had a wide graph right here, which you can see, and they needed B vitamins. And probably what's the most significant when we look at a heart graph, if you draw your attention right down to where I have the pointer at right now, the blood was impeded by that individual's liver, which is compromised. And this is a very typical liver graph right here. And I have written down the word liver stress. And we can continue on, but you can see that there's lots of zigs and zags throughout. This individual had digestive distress, and they also had adrenal gland um, poor function because the blood was being forced from their lungs back into their heart. So you can see this particular um, testing unit is very appropriate for any patient that wants to create a health and wellness strategy.